Hi. Uh, so this is my first time trying to install Z on Linux, and I'm going to just follow this uh, process that is in the in the z.dev website. I'll just copy this link and we'll run it. Hopefully it won't take too long. Hopefully it will not take too long. Anyway, as we, as we are waiting for it to continue doing that, we can just check up a few things here about Z. So I think we can start with the docs. Okay, so this here explains the installation process depending on the machine that you're using. I'm using Ubuntu 24, uh, but you can go ahead and check out for any, if you're using a Mac, there's that process for, for anyone using a Mac right there. And you can go ahead and, you know, just read through most of these things to understand what, what they are all about. These are all the releases here. There's this configuration process. Now this configuration process, I haven't I haven't read it quite into details to understand everything here. Uh, it's still trying to install. So Z designed to be configured. Uh, we want we want to fit your workflow and preferences exactly. We provide default settings that are designed to be a comfortable starting point for as many people as possible, but we hope you'll enjoy tweaking it to make it feel incredible. So in addition to the settings described here, you may also want to change uh, your theme and all the settings files. So by default, it's located here in this uh, config file that you can see here. And you can open this with uh, Vim. I, I like using Vim most of the time. So you can just check it there. And basically just follow, you can follow this process to see if there's any, if there are any things that you want to, you want to add. I want to be following through them in this video. I'm just trying to install and see uh, when it finishes installing. Uh, I can go ahead and yeah, I just browse through some of these things. So it has Vim mode, which is actually one of the main reasons why I'm trying to, inst uh, to just install it. Uh, so that, you know, it, it's a bit, uh, it's a bit, uh, you know, familiar. Familiar is the word I'm looking for. It's a bit familiar to me. Uh, yeah, so since it has the view mode, that's, that's all I care about. And I try to, I'll try and just check it out and see how everything else uh, goes along here. These are the themes in case you want to also check them out. Selecting a theme, see what themes have been installed. I'll, I think I'll just go with what counts as the default and try to change other themes as we go. Key bindings. Man, this is this is going to take long. I'll probably have to stop this video at some point since I don't think we can wait until it finishes. Anyway, uh, let's go back to the homepage. I uh, saw so they had a blog. Okay, let's check the blog post. Uh, okay, Web, uh, okay. Z is a modern open source code editor built for growing up from the ground up rather in Rust with a CPU accelerated, uh, GPU accelerated renderer. We help you build software faster than ever before. And that's the that is the installation process. So I've I've also worked with uh, Rust before, not so much, but I have I have some experience with Rust. 
I'll, I think I'll just uh, I'll try and check the I'll try and check the repo to see. Let's actually just open it. I'll check the repo and see if there's something I can contribute there. Hopefully, it, my contribution gets accepted, even if it's a single line of comment. Z Industries code as the speed. Z is a high performance multiplayer code editor for creators or from creators of Atom and Trisita. I tried to install Atom in my Windows machine a while, while back, a few years ago. I I didn't quite get to, you know, get into it and use it. It just seemed like a lot to me at the time. So I instead switched to Visual Studio Code. Uh, welcome to Z. Uh, it has that uh, installation, everything there. Uh, when was this repo created? Eight months ago is the oldest I can see here. Oh, I see last year. Okay, okay. So 97% trust. Uh, I'll just tie it for now and we can just check it out later. Uh, there's also the docs is here. Nice, nice, nice. Okay, uh, I'll also follow this. Let's see if uh, this process, like I said, it's going to take, it's going to take a while to finish installing. Z comment has been vital, blah, blah, okay. Looking for a better editor on Mac or Linux. So it's not available for Windows. Damn. Okay. Uh, if you're using a Windows machine, just switch. I mean, if, if you're a dev and you're still using a Windows machine, just try to switch. So I have a personal bias against Windows. I, I want to go into the details as to why, but... I do have a personal bias. The team joined GitHub in late 2011. In 2011, I was still in primary school. That's a long time ago. I joined the Atom team in 2014, 2013, 2015. Okay, so these are these are these are very these are seasoned developers. I'm seeing here. Uh, began his programming journey in 2017. Ah, okay. This, uh, this, this could be the person who's joined, like who started coding latest in this team eight years ago. Okay. Anyway, I just wanted to see the the developers' vision, mission, releases. Okay, uh, I'll at some point I'll probably just update to uh, update you to see uh, just to show you that uh, to confirm to you that I'd, I finished the installation process. But for now, since it's taking too long, I'm going to just stop the video here. Uh, but again, if you want to do the installation, just go to z.dev and uh, just check. Uh, yeah, this this installation for your distro. If you are using either Mac or a Linux machine, you can just check that out. Okay, cheers.